Oh. Well, welcome to this segment of the Oregon Voters Digest. I'm Bruce Broussard, your host, folks. Well, gee whiz, guess what? I think I've got an answer. I got some of the answer in regards to uh, the issues that I that I've found in the homeless issue. I've been all over town looking for the homeless. Mm -hmm. I've been all over town trying <clears> to figure <throat> out what they're doing, who am I talking to, and I was looking for successes. You know, because when you look at something like a, a, a problem, it's kind of like, okay, fine, here's the pro now I've identified the problem. <clears throat> now, how do I rid myself of the problem? And then how do I get it into a productive entity? And so I was looking for that. And so guess what? I found it. I found at least one segment of that, 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 that solution to the problem. And what I mean is about input, the output, the, three, the, the throughput kind of a deal. And um, I've got two gentlemen here with me today that's kind of like part of that solution. We're going to talk about that, and uh, I'm sure you're going to appreciate this. I've got George Mays over here, who's uh, to immediate left on the screen. Yeah, George right there. And in fact, uh, George uh, is in this business. He, he builds up bird cages. How about that? He deals bird cages. These are the bird cages that he built. He's got, he got a number of styles, very artistic in, in nature for that matter, and, and be very creative. I've gone to his shop. In fact, you might have seen him on Facebook with me, and we, we went to his shop and this, that, and the other, but, but this is George Mays. He's in the business, if you will, uh, producing this. It's very productive, and uh, it's economics. There's economics involved in that, and he's self-sufficient. He's self-sufficient. He's gotten a place now. He's and uh, he's producing these and he's selling them and mm -hmm. fantastic. He was homeless, and and, uh, and in fact he's still he's in fact one of the one of the pre premier salesperson of roots, roots wow. right street roots street roots and basically street roots definition <laughs> very simple term it's about homelessness, mm -hmm. homeless across the board it kind of well. gives folks an opportunity <clears throat> to see what what we're dealing with when we talk about homeless. but they've been around for for years if you will and Don, he's going to talk a little bit more about that and then and then to my immediate uh, right on my end but to, to your left as you can see him dressed in dressed in green oh green oh red red <laughs> <laughs> traditional <laughs> <laughs> typical marine here right but anyway oh. I, i've got keats fitz and he's a, he's a good friend of mine and besides that i've been i've been doing flag details with him of late he's got me involved he's that kind of a guy he'll get you involved in anything but more than that is that he's a vet, he's a Marine Corps vet and um, a veteran, and that was I've been looking for vets too, big time, in the in the city of Portland, and and I found uh, an opportunity, if you will, that I and we we'll be talking about uh, what do you do with vets at the end of the cycle aspect of you have to get them off the street and whatever, but here's an entrepreneur, he's a guy that has his own business, he's a private machinist, if you will, and uh, and so he does thing, and and I know that Keith is looking at the possibility of putting together a pre-apprentice program teaching folks how to, quote, get into this business, how, how to be, uh, well, I guess, laborers or whatever, but the bottom line is that to understand what that business, that, that's, a, that's a profession within its own, right. a very highly paid profession, too, yes. for that matter. Uh, I can still remember the time when I was in, in, in grade school, uh, actually it was, yeah, grade school, uh, I spun a, an aluminum a dish, cream, oh, cream dish, okay. I, I spun, and a yeah. chafing dish, uh -huh. and uh, did so well, I won a prize, and I, I went back to Dearborn, Michigan. That was sponsored by Ford Motor Company. I'll be darned. Yep. And I'm about to, you didn't know that then, did you? No, I didn't okay, know that. But I was very much involved in that deal at that point in time, so I knew this. But the fact of the matter is, is that uh, Keith here is willing to maybe look at, um, uh, you can just put, yeah, okay, good, thank you. But uh, Keith is looking at uh, uh, putting together this apprenticeship program. I'm very familiar with the whole issue of apprenticeship and all of the crafts and this, that, and the other, but this is just one aspect of the crafts. You got laborers, you got the carpenters, you got mm -hmm. iron workers, you, you, got, you got the whole nine yards, sheet metal workers. There's a, there's a very lucrative craft after that. But the fact of the matter is, here we got a Marine who's an independent businessman who's willing, if you will, to train vets to get mm -hmm. into the profession. Right. Well, vets or anybody for that matter. Yeah. But the fact of it is, he it doesn't matter. No. That, that's you know that's, that's where we are. We're back in boot camp again. But he knows how to deal with them and et cetera. So that's a very important piece. So I've got these two gentlemen here, and as far as I'm concerned, that's part of my the solution that I'm talking to. There, well, there's a lot more where I'm coming from, but mm -hmm. but here you've got a living example of two individuals uh, that are successful in their own rank, and they've gone basically to the same situation. I've got one of which who were actually out there on the streets and. And, uh, but at the same time, he doesn't forget where he comes from. Yes. He doesn't forget where he comes from. He's still working for Street Roots, and uh, he's still reaching out to vets. 
and trying to get them in a positive vein aspect of it. I was very, I was very excited about the fact that he took me around and, and introduced me to a lot of folks on the streets. And to my surprise, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm seeing people that I hadn't seen in a long time. <laughs> people that I might have recruited in the Marine Corps. Yeah. And some of which uh, that I didn't recruit, but they knew me. You know, and I, I thought that was just fantastic. I got excited. So, and then I just happened to know his brother, too, Jim Mays, who I worked with. At, um, I was in the banking industry. I was working for U.S. Bank at the time. And, and uh, his name is James. Mays, Jim, 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 Jim Mays, Mays, Jim Mays, and he was working for another bank, and first we put together, interstate. first interstate bank mm -hmm. at the time, it's Wells Fargo today, mm -hmm. but, right. but we tried to put together an association uh, to develop women and minorities for different aspects mm -hmm. of, uh, of the banking industry, right. and we put that organization together, and that was a good deal, I that. and you see, and, uh, and so that mm -hmm. was really great, so U.S. Bank kind of like did an outreach, because I was working all due respect for the, for the chair of the board, his name was John Loriaga, real neat guy, I met him when I was working at United Way. Mm. I was raising money for United Way and, yeah. and they were one of the sponsors, if you will, and you know what I mean, as far as, and so I met with him and all of a sudden, uh, you know, John said, well, Juice, why don't you come over and join the bank? And so there I was, I went to the bank and always active, always mm -hmm. getting in something. Yes. But anyway, but, we, but I really wanted to give, him, give credit to Jim, his, his brother, who was very much involved, instrumental in, in getting folks introduced to other aspects of the bank. Right. And that was a very positive move aspect there, <clears> on that deal. Where they were they were one of the largest minority steel fabricating businesses here on the West Coast. Yes, and that was another piece. Uh -huh. and like yeah. I say, when, when I got with him in the bank, he was just banking. Mm, right. Then he started looking right. at some of the other things I was doing. The other, right. And then all of a sudden, he got in the industry <clears throat> through basically uh, bringing up uh, someone who had known in steel fabrication. Right. What was the gentleman's name? Um, Nate Young. Nate Young, yeah, Nate, Nate Young. Young. And Nate they Young. formed a minority business. Right. And they contracted, if you will, to many public and, uh, and, and, and governmental mm -hmm. businesses, entities, if you will. And they were very, very successful. And uh, things happened, you know what I mean? Right. But the fact of the matter is, is that uh, Jim was very successful in doing that and got some more folks. So, so they, they've got the DNA. Mm. Mays have the, Mays here has the <laughs> DNA, if you will, to make this thing happen. So we want to thank you. Uh, Mr. Mays for and being I here with us you. today, and the same thing with uh, with Keith here. I mean, I know him big time. I tell you, this is one guy that I tell you what: if there was anyone that knows how to raise the American flag and the Marine Corps flag, it's Keith. Yes, Trust me, sir. he does, and he, and he meets a lot of people. And the other thing that I'm excited about Keith is the fact that uh, this is this other side thing that he does, and he volunteers. That's all he does. He just volunteers for that for that piece. But the bottom line, many senior citizens, you know, there are many vets, if you will, that are sitting in these homes, if you mm -hmm. will, and yeah. they really get excited when they see a, the Marine Corps flags, especially right. the Marines, right. and, yeah. and other military vets, yeah. if you will. Mm -hmm. And when we go there and, you know, and shake mm -hmm. their hand and talk with them and in uniform and the like and whatever, those folks really get excited. And, yeah. and, uh, so, we, and we post right. the colors for them, you know. Post, and right. and there you and go. Do the, Don't yeah. talk to them. Talk, talk well, to them. Well, I've been well, doing all this talking. Uh, start uh, you start uh, off, Keith. But you're good at it. Tell them what you're doing. Oh, no, I'm Loki. I learned from you. I learned from you, Keith. Go on, talk. Tell me about what you do. Well, for the Marine Corps League, we have a veterans luncheon at Prestige up in Vancouver once a month. And uh, when we first started doing this, we'd be lucky if we got two or three veterans. They didn't want to get involved in this. Mm -hmm. Now, when we don't show up, right. they get right. mad. And, they, and they're, they're, right. they're the, saying, well, are they yeah. going to come back? So yes, we come back. Yeah. We, we wouldn't quit doing that yeah. because mm -hmm. it, it, it gives them a connection with their past. Uh, and and I, we, as I said, we, we post the colors and, and then I, um, um, I have them stand up you know the ones who can can well, please stand up and and face the flag and and uh, hand salute and and uh, we pledge allegiance to the flag and uh, it, it literally does bring yeah. tears to these people mm -hmm. I mean, it really does i mean yeah. it's, it really does wow. it just hits you yeah it just hits you to see those folks just even though they might be in a kind of a situation where they really can't get up they yeah. make an attempt Absolutely. to get up right to stand up and salute you know what yeah. i mean and address yeah. and mm -hmm. i mean just it's just exciting it they, is they straighten themselves up yeah you know right they, it just know, cracks me up <laughs> <laughs> really does. It really well, does. I, I, and then, then once you get them talking real. And once mm -hmm. you get them talking. Oh, but, and Bruce is good at that. Oh, you no, know, no, 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 yeah. no. They got me. I mean, I thought I could talk. <laughs> yeah. they, I'm listening. They, they jumped right up in there. <laughs> I'm they, they just jumped right up in there, you know. Yeah, I, just, I just kept saying, pass me the chicken. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>
<laughs> ask me more chicken. Cause they, they have some good meals too. <laughs> yes, At least they are. feed you when you go down there. Yeah. I was worried there for a minute when Keith took <laughs> oh, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> he took the first plate. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, not true, but it's we'll go along with that. But in all, in all sincerity, no. you know, it's, it, it was it really was a pleasure. You know, and I, I like the idea of volunteering and going to the yeah. various senior citizen group and seeing those military guys. You know, just. Really put tears in your eyes. It really does. But but they're there and they're proud. Right, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. And then and we want the, the the viewing public, especially young people, to understand what that history is all about. Absolutely. And what and the, and looking at those folks who gave them the right to do what they're doing today. Yes. Right. And that's a Absolutely. very very important very piece. Important. Exactly. And we don't do enough of that. Not enough. You know I mean? No, we don't. No. So that's one. Of, in fact, now we're going to hopefully may, maybe take a camera crew down there. And, Take K, you know, K is always available for us. Oh, 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 so we'll take K oh, oh, and take some shots. Oh, take some shots. That, that and would put that be on the two. Nice. Yes, that'd and be and great. Maybe, yeah, and put that and maybe get that out to the maybe um, what was it tweeted or something and uh, let these other so-called communication mediums pick it up. Yeah, and sell it and sell it into the schools that young mm -hmm. people especially. Yes, and some of those uh, military folks that are either are homeless. Those are the ones that I was looking well, at. That's the ones we need. That's, to that's, that's the one we really need to because yes. they got that pride. You know, they all went to boot camp like. We did. I yeah. said we can get them. Yeah, we can get them. We can get them. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm saying? But we were looking for them. We couldn't find them. Mm. We couldn't find them. But now all of a sudden, guess what? I'm finding them now. <laughs> yeah, I got Mr. Mays. Well, Mr. Mays got me. Mr. Mays got me. And, and we've uh -huh. met some folks. In fact, I met another guy that put the villages together. Oh, uh, really? and, oh yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be interviewing him at some point in time very shortly. Okay. Uh -huh. But the bottom line is that I know where they are now. <laughs> yeah. I know where they are. And But at the same time, a lot of times you can just kind of go to people and say, well, okay, fine. They say, what, what are you going to do? What, what are you going to do? Just talk to me? True. No, they need something. True. Yes. They're looking for something. Okay, now they're ready to go. They got the enthusiasm to go. And so, okay, fine. G can you give me some direction? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? Here, here's right Mr. Here. Mays right over here. Right. Uh, you can sell some, you can sell papers. Yes, street right. Ruth, if you, street if, you, papers. if you do it yep. right, Street Ruth we papers. Give out, yeah, we give out, um, we give out uh, resource books. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And right now it's like, we're like one of the, one of the strongest resource books uh, organization out here is being Street Roots. And, you know, we've been around for, uh, say, 15, 16 years. Really? Right. It's going. Because right. mm -hmm. I started in 2010 with them. Yeah. And so I've been there since then. Mm -hmm. And it has always gave me some influence to keep working on some things to push myself and the opportunity was even running my own business. Mm -hmm. You know, it gave me that opportunity, running into some people I haven't seen in years, mm -hmm. and I've always been out there on the street, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, trying to help do something better than anything else, and yeah. you know, and, and keeping myself focused. I'm not the perfect, but it's just a point to where I'm doing something better than yes, nothing. Yes, yes. So and once it once it starts, I stick with it. Yes. And, and like I had told Street Roots and them, I said, hey, I'll be here forever. Mm -hmm. You know, they say, well, if you get rich, you ain't going to see us no more. I say, well, where are you going? <laughs> you know, you <laughs> leaving? Because yeah, I'm not leaving. leaving. You're yeah, you're I'm, be right I'm, there. I'm be right there. And if, if you leave, let me know. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. I, I'll find out where you're at. But yeah. from there is just a point. I just thank you for that help mm -hmm. and that direction. And you know, that push that you gave me and, right. and meet some other, you know, people that were homeless and, mm -hmm. you know, working on their entrepreneurship and, and give them some incentive to keep pushing themselves, mm -hmm. you know, and let them know that, hey, it's here, don't quit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, because once you start talking about quitting, mm -hmm. you're gonna start losing everything. Right. And this is an open window you know, this right. is an open window uh, uh, that can help you out, help your friends out, and plus it can get you off the street, mm -hmm. you know, and plus we just got to go through these programs mm -hmm. that's out there. But the <coughs> first program is yourself, mm -hmm. you know, straighten yourself up and then go through it. Mm -hmm. And from that is a point to where, as like I, like I said, I, I thank them very much. And then I've been getting opportunities mm -hmm from other organizations that I'm taking them in and accepting it and it's <coughs> and it's working. It's I'm right. not trying to work it fast. Yeah, right, right, I'm right. working it real slow right. and it and it and it's something that gives me more incentive to move ahead. Like I always tell people, I'm working working progress. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I say I'm keeping my eyes on the people that's always working. Right 
working progress. Right. So if they ask me, I'm coming running. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming yes. running. Yes, right. See, and if from that, ask. if they ask. Right. And from there, it's just the thing. I'd, <clears throat> I'd be out there selling my papers, selling my birdhouses. I was I was making jewelry. I make jewelry. I sell jewelry. I'm, you got a nice I'm piece getting, on there, too. Yeah, I'm getting getting ready to work on a clothing line, you know, too. But oh, really? It's ah. like I'm trying to stay ahead. Well, yeah, I, was, I, was telling, yeah. I was telling Bruce, Bruce earlier, I said, I'm working staying 10 years ahead because if they take them from me, at least I'm still working on something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know I had to throw them back. Yeah, he did. Right. I said to him, I said, well, you know, you know uh, George, what you remind me of is, is another piece. Mm. And that was success is when opportunity meets preparation. Oh. Think about it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Success is when opportunity meets preparation. Uh -huh. He prepared himself. Opportunity was there. And he took, the, it. he took it, built the cages, and guess what? He was successful. Yes. And now, you know, but the, but the other thing is an interesting thing about, about George, and I learned that when I was talking to these people on the street, and I really get, it really came home when I started speaking to him. A lot of these guys that I was talking to just liked the idea of being on the street. Right. You know, because otherwise they were home. Some of them were living, living here in Portland, but they had to be on the street. Sure. I met a guy on Burnside, on the Burnside Bridge or whatever, and I was talking to him, and here he was on the street, uh, kind of a neat guy, and then we talk, We started chatting, and he, he went back to his past, in mental illness and this, that, and the other, but he showed me the, 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 the needle, needle points on the right. deal, and he was saying, Bruce, at one point in time, I was making this stuff. Oh. You know, I don't oh. do that anymore. Oh, I don't do that That's anymore, good. and I got a family, if you will, but I like to be out here in this fresh air and meeting some of the guys that I know. But the other thing he says, uh, I said, well, what were you doing? Well, I was, at one point in time, I was repairing bicycles. Right. Said, I said, what were you doing? He said, right here, hmm. on the streets. Really? And then all of a sudden, somebody at the city came by and said, I couldn't do that. It was against the law. But there was Maybe. nobody there to take him to that next <laughs> step. You know what I mean? They could have taken him to a regular right. bicycle shop. And right. say, hey, look, what's the possibility? This guy will volunteer just, yeah. just doing it. But why not give him a little job? Right. You know what I mean? Right. But yeah. my point is that that's a problem here. <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> so, right. so I think that um, uh, uh, we got... When some decisions were made, if you will, by the mayor to start mm -hmm. with, to ignite it all, because we got a lot of folks coming in, and he made yeah. the decision that well, what we're gonna do, we'll we'll just let them sleep everywhere on the on the sidewalks, and well, gave yeah, a time yeah. period and this, that, and the other, mm -hmm. and, and I noticed well, Lambert, we threw out some addresses of the council and the mayor. We we knew who they, where they live. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. know who the councils were until <laughs> I saw that piece. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is, I I started thinking about that. Was that the right thing to do? You get my point? Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Because the, I don't think so. the other thing, there's another laxity. day. There are different segments. So you can, maybe you can talk right. to me a little bit more about that, George. Share this with the, with the folks. What I was getting through was that there were different segments of folks that are out there on the street. Yeah, yeah. Excuse the French, you got the criminal yes. element aspect of it. Right. You, you got the, the person that really has mental health mental issues health aspect pressure. of it. Right, yeah. And then you got the other person that <laughs> hey, they either just came here or whatever, nowhere to just go. Just commit, right. Uh, you know what I mean? They, got, they yeah. got, couldn't pay their child support yeah. or something, and then they got busted. Uh, all kinds of weird things. Yeah. Well, that's and like our, the, the, the newcomers and everything that's coming they're coming in that they heard about uh, uh, Portland, Oregon, as Reasonable. they can come in and they got programs for them. Right. But mm -hmm. see, as the thing that whereas as I'm out there selling my papers, I end up talking to a bunch of them about mm -hmm. that. You know, they come in, they gun hold, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. And a week or so, it's like, I said, no, you didn't. I said, did you ever go to the organization? You said, they go, we couldn't find it. I said, you didn't wow. even reach it yet? Wow. Wow. I said, wow. wow. I said, I'll tell you what, you got to keep coming and talk to me every day. Mm -hmm. I said, because mm -hmm. it's a thing to wear out that you're going to need this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, because what you didn't got involved in was something you don't need. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like you had direction. Mm -hmm. And you shouldn't have to lose your direction. And I would see them in another two weeks. And right. like, man, I don't know. I thank you. I said, yeah, but I, it's just a point. You guys got to get stronger about it. You got to go to the place, the destiny that you spoke about. Mm -hmm, right, mm -hmm. I said, other night, you come back. Huh? Mm -hmm. And then finally, after a while, they did do it. They reached it, and they came back, and they go, thank you. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah. I said, because all this other stuff, this is easy. Mm -hmm. It'll take you somewhere you don't want to mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. See, sure. you're new here, but it's <clears> easy <throat> here. But you got you to gotta, you gotta strap down and buckle down mm -hmm. a little bit because mm -hmm. Out here is not easy, mm -hmm. you know, and you're coming from another state and you could get fed easily mm -hmm. here, you know. To and get you on point, the hook. 
get you on the hook. And once they got you on the hook, now, folks, right? yeah, the this, this is mm-hmm. this is drugs and everything, and you know, from them, this is coming from out of people coming from out of state, from out of state, right? Yeah, you know, more. We new. have more of an influx now. As as homeless though too, as homeless, right? as homeless, they they just found out that it was a uh, easy enough. easy way to uh, get their selves better, an uh, opportunity, you know, to to go into these programs because they're set up, you know, and from that, <clears throat> some of them make it and some of them don't. But are they so good, George? That. I mean, I'm just saying, is it a motivational thing or is it something that cripples them even the pro- worse? The programs? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good no, question. No, the, 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 the programs are good. Okay. If you, you got to focus on the programs, okay. though. And it, it's, a, it's a point to where they're all helpful okay. in a way. But even though from, like, getting housing and all that stuff there, you got a waiting period. Mm-hmm. And, and between there, that, even but, jobs. But, but it's there. It's there. The, the program is there. The, the program is there, and then it's just a point of it, it's it's always a little waiting period. Right, right, right. And through that waiting period is like you got to do something with yourself through that waiting period. You got to hang. You got to, yeah. yeah. See, and I, yeah. I, I introduced a lot of them to Street Roots. They, I don't want to do that. I'm like, why not? This is, this is going to give you an opportunity. Right. Mm-hmm. You're going to meet so many people. You might get a job out of this deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they go, oh, man, th- that ain't. It ain't worth it. I said, yeah, it is. I said, this is establishing your own business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And from that, you can do whatever you want. But I'm going to tell you this. You meet a lot of people. And the people meet you. And once they love you, you get a nice, nice crew of some people that love you. You you can do real well. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you might get in just a little sooner. Mm -hmm. And you're right, because but, people do get motivated when they see somebody trying to do something for themselves. You got right. I, mean? exactly. I, I, I can remember when I was working for United Way, uh, a lot of folks would come in, and mm-hmm. I was a loan exec, uh, a supervisor, and would come in and were looking for a job, you know, and they mm-hmm. happened to know who I, I said, well, look, why don't you go down and talk to Bruce, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, I said, well, look here, I said, uh, tell you what, you really want a job? I said, you got your suit and your tie on? Go down to the local Fred Meyer there and buy yourself a broom and a... A broom, a bucket, mm-hmm. and, a, and, a, and a dustpan. Mm-hmm. Go down over here, cause we, we were overlooking the, the, the Broadway Bridge. Mm-hmm. Go down there, and by noontime, just start sweeping, <laughs> cleaning up the bridge. <laughs> What's going to happen? The traffic going to start getting so, slowed down. Yeah. They're going to call the camera crew because they don't have anything to do for them. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to see, what is this guy? And you just tell the <coughs> I'm just trying to clean my city until uh, after uh-huh. one o'clock so I can wow. go out and try. I'm looking for a job. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, execs and everybody else are looking at TV and eating lunch and whatever. And somebody might, well, gee, hey, if this guy's got enough guts to go try to right. clean his city, because this right. city of roses aspect of it, yeah. 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 and he wears little rose on his lapel. I had, I was handing those out too, see? Yeah. These okay. little lapel yeah. roses, see? Yeah. And I said, you know, all of a sudden he said, I'm here just going to try to clean my city until right. I can, you know, until after lunch. I tell you, I, I say, I guarantee you, all you give me a phone number. I say, I'm sitting at the corner of Broadway and yeah, right. Burnside. I'm waiting about 1.30. Come on down. Somebody Come will be picking down. you up. They'll, they'll pick you up. But, you know, right. I'm just giving That's sort right, of an though. example yeah. of, like you were just saying, just sharing with, you know, sharing this mm-hmm. other piece that I, that's the guy didn't do it. So when he called me back, I said, did you do it? I said, I think you better go down to the unemployment division and <laughs> right. put you in for a job. <laughs> you don't want to work. work. That's right. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So, so th- th- that's why I'm saying it's, it's so important to educate folks, and that's what we're trying to do here now. Absolutely. You know, because we got a True. serious issue here. Yep. Yeah, it is. So it's, what are we going to do about it? And that's and why I'm getting, saying and it's getting worse. It's going to get worse, but, but right. it's not worse here. And it's just a matter of right. you got, but you got to share it with them. You got to yeah, give them some sure. idea of what's uh-huh. going on, and the visual means a lot. It's yes. unfortunate. They don't read newspapers. Yes. They don't look at they, TV they news. Don't. They, don't. they don't. But they can do yes. some visuals, though. Right. If all of a sudden you're sitting there with your, with your bird cake and you're your selling bird, yeah. it and you got a price on the front of it and somebody's paying for that and they're seeing you, you're, dressed, well, was, you're not dressed as normal. I was walking down the street the other day and um, <clears throat> I see about three weeks ago and I was carrying a couple of my bird owls. Right. right. And I was catching the bus and everything and the first thing they go, hey, you that guy? <laughs> you're that guy. Are you that guy? Or do you make them, or do you? Did you buy them? She yes. said, "Are you the guy that sell them bird cages, right. them bird houses?" Right. 
I said, yeah, I am. She goes, wow, I've been looking for you. Wow. I said, you've been looking for me? Oh, there yes. is. Here I am. She, yeah. goes, she goes, wow. She goes, because I passed by that one place, and I see all them bird cages out there, but it's the thing, I don't stop. Traffic's moving too fast. And I say, well, there's a driveway. Yes. Turn into it. Yes. And she goes, I'll do that next time. And yes, yes. I say, well, I'll see you then. Yes, and yes. she goes, you are good. I'm like, I'm trying to help much as I can. I, I come out here to help. There you go. There you and go. I've, I even told some of my other vendors that does street routes, I said, hey, I'll give you a bird house. Yes, Just yes. to start off. Yes, yes. You know, and they go like, why would you want to do that? Right. I said, I've been doing this for a long, right. long time. Right. It's, right. it's not new to me. Yes, and right, right. So it's a thing is that, that focus has always been there to right. go and help. And even though exactly. it's just a point, I know i got to keep helping myself. A exactly, you know, exactly. And, and you know, and then taking that point that you were talking about, again, that's another thing I've learned. <clears throat> you're talking to these people, and they all have varying backgrounds, varying stories. Right. Now, once you've identified what they, who they are, and why they where they are, mm -hmm. and possibly what skills they have, mm -hmm. you got to have something that can say go that way. Exactly, right. and that's what. And that's the problem we're missing. That's what George is doing, and that's what I'm trying. Right, that's what you're trying to do. No, that's and what you got, you're doing. Yeah. is what I'm trying to do. Uh -huh. Yeah, because uh -huh. yeah, I can send them to you. Absolutely. Then you can send them back to me. That's yeah. right. Then next thing you know. We we doing something better right. than nothing. That's, that's right. right. And then they go, where'd you get that from? Yeah. That's right. Like, that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And that's the key. Right. But be, but that's the problem that's missing. Right. That's what's yeah, missing. Yeah. Because even though I went all out there looking for vets and this and another, I'm talking to all kinds of people with programs. Mm -hmm. One who are reluctant to share with you what they do, really which blows your mind. Yeah. Okay. And then two, you're trying to figure out how do you put mm -hmm. all this together. I mean, how many agencies do you have out there? Yeah, that's and how many people are you serving? Right. <laughs> what is it costing, whatever? Mm -hmm. And the reason why I did that was, be, and I say that, is that I, I learned something when I was at United Way. United Way, you know, is, is the kind of one of the largest fundraising mm -hmm. entities mm -hmm. in the country for that yeah. matter. Yeah. And the whole idea is to give to them, and then they identify what the issues are, mm -hmm. what the problems, and then they dole out the money based on the problem. Right. But they got an auditing arm to make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. You know? and, and so they're sitting there, and, and I'm saying that I was part of that process. Mm -hmm. That made a lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. But now you got all these different organizations, because I, I even questioned all the other programs about right. all the vets stuff. You got a lot right. of stuff that talks about we do this for vets, we right. do this. Well, wh what happened to the VA? Yeah. I mean, okay. I thought that was, a, that was the one stop piece. They, a large organization, mm. you got me, and they're supposed to be identifying with all the issues impacting vets. All the issues, Not and then directing all. them all. You know my point, because they right. got to control. Because what's so again, what's so interesting about the vet? We all went to boot camp. Yeah. Okay. We know for a fact that right. we went through a a, a a situation, a training situation. At the end of the day, Jesus. we accomplished something. Right. They've already got that process. Yeah, we're still breathing, and we're right. still we're still, <laughs> we're still we're still breathing. You see what I'm saying? Good so, at so, it. so so my point right. is that we need to we need to have something that can say that we just can't have just a whole bunch of services. Anybody no, can true. write grants. That's well, true. You know that's true. But, right. but then, but then the people who are receiving it to give the money don't necessarily are in tune with what's going on, oh, right. with right. what they're going to be giving the money to. The grant looks good. Right. The money mm -hmm. is spent, yeah. but right. they don't audit. And right. I learned that too, mm -hmm. walking the streets, mm -hmm. talking to some of the agencies. Okay. <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? Right. See, so um, uh, it's it's, a, it's it, it may be complicated, but it's doable. True. You know, it, we we can get something done, and so well, this is kind of a first shot. Done. This is the yeah. first step, so to yeah. speak that we're looking at the possibility of doing something. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm, I mean, I'm speaking this end of it from the standpoint that uh, I'm out there. Right. I'm out yes. there knocking on them doors and yes. seeing what's going on. That's how I met you guys, that's mm -hmm. how I met you, and, yeah. and some other folks that I met on the streets aspect of it. Mm -hmm. It's doable. You know, yes. it's just that we're just going to take some time. And, I, and I'm not knocking any of the agency. Maybe they're doing what they think is right. Okay, but I'm as also- As far as they go. As far as they go. As far as they go. But I'm also into, they only go so uh, what, far what about the audit? I mean, are you doing what you're saying you're gonna do? Right. And what are you doing that in fact is helping out? And how many have you helped out? Right. That's in, going through the input, output, and throughput. Mm -hmm. right. That's the key. Right. Because if housing is there, and, uh, and we that, got yeah, that's that's a big item. Th that's a big what item. We, where are we going to house these yeah, people? Yeah. But we we don't know how many is there. Yeah, right. We don't know their background. No count. We, we no, don't know the no. nothing else. So, no. And then I'm saying within our system, the sheriff department is the jailer. Mm -hmm. When the police mm -hmm. arrest them on the street, mm -hmm. they're taken to 
the sheriff's department to jail. Mm -hmm. right? Now they're supposed to frisk you and all that other stuff, ask your name, your social security number, and that's, they're supposed to be able to identify it. They, right. they should have a record on what's your problem. problem. Right? right? Yeah. Then hopefully direct you to the respective agency. Mm -hmm. Are they doing that? No. Not that I know of. See what I'm saying? No. So. <laughs> you, are you a run through their program? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but my point is that it's a controlled environment. You can get yes. that information. Yeah. Yes. And as far as I'm concerned, yeah. that's where it should stop. Mm -hmm. So anybody gets caught in a crime or anything of that nature, some way, shape, or form, they should have been directed to something. something. Mm -hmm. But but what we hear is that uh, sometimes I'll, I'll be talking to a law enforcement officer or whatever, say, so, well, because well, they're the one that picks them up. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, I've seen it over there in the front of my business. They'll go into maybe a Safeway store over there and, and rip off some steaks or whatever, and they get picked up, mm -hmm. and then they go to jail, and then about a week later, they're right back where they started from. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? They say, wait a minute, well, you, you committed a crime. Yeah, no problem. Well, what are you all. doing on the streets? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, then he, and then he's got money. He's still got money to shoot up. shoot up. And then here comes a truck giving out free needles. Wow. And I couldn't understand what that was all yes. about, and I had to chase that down. Free needles. Mm, what was it? And then, uh, for, for Heron. You know, yeah, but shooting up and what's the free yeah. needle stuff? Well, to shoot the heron. Well, shoot okay. The heron. Shoot but the heron. Who's running the truck that's giving the, the free needles? Uh, the public. You're paying for it. That's what I figured. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, 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 and so that that's that bothers me. Well, yeah. See what I'm saying? Of course. So uh, I got some problem with the free needles stuff. Yeah, that's big. Well, and that's saying? true. Are you are you promoting folks to get on this the, the, to be an addict, right. if you will? Right. Or are you trying to help them out of this situation? Well, you know, you hear methadone and all this other right. good stuff, yeah. but but then, like I said, I, when I was talking to this guy on on, uh, on Burnside, on the bridge, he was saying he used to make it mm. and sell it, okay. but he doesn't do that anymore. Good. Well, so if he could make it mm -hmm. and sell it, mm -hmm. how many other folks? So how are they getting the heroin? Right. A good. Well, that's, that's right. I'm, I'm gonna throw it's, that it's out, out there. I mean, it's, it's I mean, I'm not gonna sit up and knock somebody point. else's business. Cause, no, but where does it come from? But what, what, what do you think? Any, any thoughts on that? Uh, well, I don't. Do I, you see I really it? Don't what? know where it come from. I see them shooting up. You see them shooting up. I see them shooting up. They're using the same needles and everything. Yeah. And, and you know, my thing. I, I used to sit up there and go up to them and say, "Why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. You know, what what drives you? What motivates what, you? Right. To, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, do that." Yeah. And they go, huh, it's just something to do. I said, well, it should be something more productive. Wow. Stick what do they get the money? The needle. What do they get the money, Brother Major? Uh, peddling? Begging, peddling, peddling. Peddling, begging, you know, stealing. Okay. Yeah. You know, and it's a, it's a thing I've, I've heard all of it, you yeah. know, majority yeah. all of it. And I'm like, well, I don't want to go there. No. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to go there. It's no. a point where it is. And I, I ask them, why do you go there? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you really feel when you mm -hmm. when you're doing these things right. that it's it's hindering you? Yeah. See, and then if and, and if you can get this help, and you can, mm -hmm. but it's just a point that you got to be willing for yourself. Though, mm -hmm. the more you do it, it's just it's just a sad sight to see. Because mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. I've I had a few uh, few uh, uh, um, how could I say. Uh, uh, Action type things, whereas that I had some folks that was that was uh, uh, panhandlers. Mm -hmm. And as a point, I was I was out in front of the store selling, and it was a point where they told me to move because mm. I was doing my street with papers and everything. Yeah. And they told me to move. I'm like, wow. And I've been knowing these guys for years, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm like, man, I ain't never asked you guys to move. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what's going on? The next thing I know, I seen they was shooting the needles and mm -hmm. everything. I'm like, oh man, yeah, you got a whole different mindset. Mm -hmm. I say, now's the thing to wear as I say, you must be getting good money here mm -hmm. to buy heroin. No, to tell me to move. Because oh, <laughs> they never oh. had told me to Did move they shoot before. That much? <laughs> man, that's what I was asking wow. them. Wow, wow. I said, man, whatever you got, you need to quit. Mm -hmm. You know, I said, I, I've never told you that, man. I said, hey. And I, I've been here for years, mm -hmm. you know. I've never told nobody to move nothing or yeah. get away or, you know, you can sit there and do what you do, but, you know, and they were pulling out their needles and shooting, and I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. man. I said, yeah, y'all done went too far now. Wow. wow. Way out of line. Huh. But oh, and, and, and can they get back? Um, they, yeah, they can. They can, but how many do? And that's It's not too many of them to get back. They're, no, they're, that's, that's they're just ODing. Part. 
Yeah. Yeah. And there's a point yeah. that is yeah. it's and it's it's a sad thing. Yes, it is. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because when, when we were out there in front of uh, one of the oh. hotels over there, remember that? Yeah, they, yeah. They, they were they, had, they would stop the traffic, and two people had OD'd in that place while in we were while we just oh. walking around, oh. just like that. But you don't see that in the press. You don't see it in the press. You, you don't, don't see that in the press. And as far as I'm concerned, those are the kinds of photos that should be on the front page of the newspapers, mm -hmm. and the front yeah. page of the news as a kind of a to the people. To say this is what to happens to you. Right. This yeah. is what's really happening Absolutely. over here. This yeah. is what happens when you allow needles to be given to them. You got me to right. shoot up. Yeah. Uh, if you're talking about uh, uh, HIV and this, that, and mm. the other, it's every day. I mean, the, yeah. the, the men don't. If that's the other thing I was going to share it too. And, and people are dirty, and they, uh, they you know, they picking right. stuff up and mm -hmm. going yeah. to different, different stores. That's why many restaurants don't want you in there. But they got to right. allow you to a certain degree. But the, but the fact of the matter is, they don't even have a place to take a bath. No. But the women well, they, have a place downtown, right? I know the they have, have the place. women have a place. But I the know men they don't used have, to a have a place. They used to have a, uh, um, a portable. They used to have a portable that used to drive around. Oh, you mean? And they okay. came out. Yeah, they came out oh. once in a while, and they would, oh. they would shower. I hadn't seen it anymore. Oh. But what well, do they give them? Clean stopped. clothes? Or they give them? Well, they give them the opportunity to shower. Yeah, but I mean, but if you, you put the same dirty clothes on, you're right back where you started. I know. I didn't. No wonder the program is not around. Right. It's, that's that. that that's was, it. That's probably why would he, why, why would someone that. even give public money to an entity that gets them to put the same clothes back on? See, yeah. that's the oh, kind of problem yeah. that I'm having with a lot of the deal oh. that we, people are trying to. We need to audit the whole system. That's what I'm coming yes. from. Yes. And yes. The, and like I said, and we need to find out who's on the street. And the sheriff's office is very important because right. they pick them up and they take them over there. And since they have the time, they can clean up. They can figure right. out exactly who the individuals right. are. Yeah. And right. identify the problems, and hopefully have the agencies around that and they can direct them to. Right. Do this, do this, do this. Got me. And that should be done. And somebody needs to coordinate that. that to say right. that was done, right? Right. And yeah. the person shouldn't be here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, exactly. that's why they should be getting the as far as the, the lineup, rather than having the lineup of the people mm -hmm. just coming in and say, "I say I want a place." Get the lineup from the institution, because right. they're clean. Because they right, mm -hmm. right. They dry out, right? It, to right. certain degree. They dry out. It'll be in there for so long, and it'll dry out. And once and they step they outside, back, right back you know, where they start. Yeah, because no, no direction. No. But, but there's one like, who say they say follow the money. Pharmaceutical, yeah. Pharmaceuticals love it because oh, yes. the needle, they're selling uh, needles. They're selling that metrodone aspect of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it just goes on. It's just a sad note, but we're going to have to start up trying to work this thing out. Let me bring Keith in on this point now, okay. right now. Keith, yes. now you, you, you're thinking about this idea of apprenticeship. Well, Why don't yes. you share with us? Well, what are you talking about? Well, and why? Primarily, uh, uh, you know, the young, young kids coming in, going into high school now, uh, they they can take shop. Well, not important. But well, we don't have, we don't have vocabulary. We used to have the greatest. Uh, oh yes, shop. I agree. Benson used to be the greatest yes. tech school yes. in yes. the United yep. States. Yep. Thank you. And we are. Oh. And, and <laughs> <laughs> but where I came from, all the high schools had the same thing. Okay, mm -hmm. well, it wasn't just one. No, and that's the way it should be. That's where it should uh, be. That's right. And they, oh. you should make the, the the decision for yourself, not to have the the administration making the decision for you. They literally would tell the kids coming into Benson, mm -hmm. well, oh, well, you don't want to take shop. You want to get into computer sciences because that's where this the future is going to be. So they 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 take a a four-year high school and go on to college, and they get through college, and they can't find a job because there isn't any jobs. There's more jobs in the in the, in the tech in, in this area, and mm -hmm. so that's that's what I want to do. You know, I've got the shop. Um, I I want to uh, initiate a, a program where they they can come to um, work there and and hopefully learn the trade, learn the, trade the basics, and that's the other thing. When you do go to a, a, a school and take a machine shop, like Clark County has a good, a good one, <laughs> all they do is learn how to come in and turn the machine on and, and then change parts and go home at night. That's not, they uh, don't get the basics. Yeah, what's they the don't. basic? What's the basic? Well, uh, uh, what end mill to use, what machine to use to do the job, um, uh, how to drill and tap a hole, what speeds and feeds to, to run in order to do it without destroying the, the tools that you're making, so uh, using, I should say, and that's it's it's the, in other words from the ground up, mm -hmm. and and if they don't get that, 
all they're going to be doing wow. is p turning the machine on wow. and you know they may even learn how to program the machine mm -hmm. but they still have to have those basics is, yeah. in order to program mm -hmm. the machine how much just how much time does it take to put a person through the basics in, the, in the, your program well I, I i haven't got that far but i would say a minimum of two years okay and okay. and Preferably four, and they could be making a living while they're doing that. Sure. Well, yes. The, they, yes, they'll be making money. Yeah, uh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Right, but they can be making money. Yes, yeah, cause a lot of these programs are two, three, sometimes four years, mm -hmm. depending upon what you what you, what you want to get into. Yeah. Which is good though, right. but you're still yeah, right. getting paid right. Right. at that rate. But then when you get into the journeyman stage, yeah, then it, it changes, mm -hmm. and you get benefits and this, that, and other. I mean, all, all the trades right. are having that kind of right. deal. But the fact that mm -hmm. you you wanting to do this kind of a piece aspect of well, and and. You know, I'm I'm getting up there where I'm going to have to th think about uh, turning it off and, and go, uh, leaving, but mm -hmm. um, I want to I want to leave something. Oh, that's good. That's good. And yeah. and I'm if, if I get a, uh, a, a somebody you know a, a, a partner to do this with me, set this up with me, so that we can have somebody to carry on after I do leave. Well, that's even more. That's even better. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know, I told you about that that. Uh, um, one guy that came into Starbucks that day, and uh, now this was a uh, homeless guy, I didn't realize mm -hmm. it, but he was sitting out in front of Starbucks. And uh, one of the gals that we know that, that uh, lives on the island, I saw her go out and she stopped and said something to him, and pretty soon she brings him back in. Uh, they, they came in together, and he, she bought him uh, coffee and uh, whatever. And, uh, and so after that happened well i was leaving and i saw her so i stopped her and asked her what was going on mm -hmm. and uh, and she says well he's homeless and uh well, well he wasn't quite homeless he was about ready to lose his apartment and uh and he had been a a a, 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 a journeyman carpenter in the in the vancouver area for years um they had that bubble where the it, it burst and uh, there was 400 Finished carpenters got laid off almost mm -hmm. the same day. Wow. And so there was nothing going on. He couldn't find a job. Uh, he lost his wife. And he, and, uh, and that day, I, I, after I talked to her, I, I went around and found him. And I said, so what's, so, so what's the story? And I said, are you a veteran? He says, well, yeah. He says, I was uh, an Air Force veteran. And, uh, and I said, well, how, how long were you? Well, four, uh, just four years. And, and, uh, and so I said, well, so you know, and, he, and I asked him what his story was, and he told me that. And uh, and so I, I got a bunch of Air Force guys. The Marine Corps can't, Marine Corps League can't help anything but Marines. We do, okay. but I mean, you know, uh, generally speaking. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, I got a bunch of my Air Force friends together, and we um, paid his rent, and uh, and he had a truck, but he didn't have any gas. And mm -hmm. so we we uh, funded him for that, and and got him some food. And uh, and it worked. The guy he when when I saw him, he was walking, going to go across the the Vancouver, you know, the I-5 bridge. <laughs> and he said he was he was that close. He was thinking about jumping off of the wow, bridge. Wow! Wow! And I saw him. Oh, probably six months to a year later. And uh, and he said, you know, he says, uh, yeah, I'm sure glad you was there that day. <laughs> and I said, why that? And he says, well, he says, he after that happened, he says. Uh, I got it back on my feet, I, and and, he, and and because of what we did, mm -hmm. and uh, and he said that uh, he got a girlfriend, and she con convinced him to go back to school, mm -hmm. and they both went to school together, and they, in fact, I, I think he said they got they were getting married, and uh, saved him, wow. and wow. that's what right. we have. They mm -hmm. have to have mm -hmm. somewhere for them to go. Right, right, right. And right. he was lucky; he still had a yeah. place. He wasn't quite homeless. He right. would have been, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's what we have to do that. And I know it's a big problem. We have a big problem. We got, the one thing that really bothers me is when I see um, a young couple with kids. That right. are, it's a yeah, youth. A lot of kids right. out there. Seen, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's terrible. Well, you think about, man, then you start thinking about the baby boomers. I mean, they yeah. getting out there. I mean, you got a the, lot the of baby folks. Boomer. Oh, yeah. yeah. They got a lot of folks here now, and they're yeah. going to be getting on that road yeah. yes. of homelessness yeah. if we don't do something well, about it. Of course. It. And then no one wants to talk about jobs. it now. It's all about the money. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some of them are. Some of them are homeless. Yeah, you got some homeless out there, don't you? I mean, you know, I'm saying 
some of the younger youth, they're uh -huh. homeless. They're they're running from house to house to yeah. house. Mm -hmm. You know, like I would I would sometime I would talk to them and say, well, hey, where is your home? They say I don't have one. Uh -huh. I said, where's your parents? They go, I don't have one. Uh -huh. I'm like, wait, are you choosing to do this? And they go, no. I said, okay. I said, oh, next time. Mm -hmm. I said, next time. I said, is it that? that's not going to last forever. Mm -hmm. You know, and I said, from that, is, it's, it's, it's going to be something because you guys are going to be running this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And from this is a thing that we're as that you got to think about that because mm -hmm. you're very important. We care about you, but do you care about us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, and then parents, like you said, that's another good point, too. Yeah, parents are very important. You know, like, say, this is not just family, juveniles family or life. family, you know what I mean, or gang members or whatever. Right. They had family. family. And when they pick those kids up and take them down to JDH or mm -hmm. something of that nature, mm -hmm. or take them down to the, to the sheriff or to be incarcerated or whatever, they got a name. They na yeah. They got a social security yeah. number. You see what I'm saying? Right. And you got to be able to find who uh, owns that child. Right. One way or the other. Right. right. And they have to be brought to the table, like it or not. Right. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's a very important piece. Because <clears throat> yeah. a lot of these young men, uh, especially young men and, and young women mm -hmm. too, have foster parents. Right. And True. That's a, that's a tough sell, see. Yes. Uh, to yeah. kids, cause they, cause a lot of times they use that as an excuse to do these other things that they're doing. Mm -hmm. You get my point? Right. And then, but we're not, again, here we go again. We're not teaching that to school. Same old thing. We're not teaching it in school, and, but follow the money. Mm -hmm. and you got a lot of folks that mm -hmm. are consultants, mm -hmm. but they knew how to write the, the, the grant. Right. right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Right. And so I'm just saying, and I'm not saying maybe that, that was the right thing to do, but let's make sure that it's being done right. Done right. Mm -hmm. If you say you're going to be able to rehab 10 kids, and they're going to be back on their feet mm -hmm. in a year's time mm -hmm. for X number of dollars, mm -hmm. Then rather than give them the money <laughs> to get them to do that that year, because gone, the money's gone, mm -hmm. you give them the money after the job is done. <laughs> right, right, right. And, and that's what you tell them, okay, that's fine. Well, gee, what am I going to do? About? Well, you go to a bank and borrow the money, <laughs> and then you're going yeah. to be scrupulous about how you spend the Spend the money. The money. <laughs> right. So right. you can make sure you get a good profit, because yeah. you're going to lie on that grant a little bit right. about right. what you right. do. Yes. But if you go to that bank, that bank will say, I'm going to loan you this money based on what you got right? and what your credibility is. Right. They're going to give you that money, mm -hmm. and you're going to work harder mm -hmm. to get the job done, because you know at the end of that road, <laughs> Got to pay. Success, they call it. Right. <laughs> success. Uh, success. Opportunity means preparation, yeah. right? Right. So now he's successful. And I, and all due respect, yeah. I hate to put it this way, but that's maybe, that's maybe what we need to do in the school system. You know, pay them after the fact. Go borrow some money. Right. Go teach them. <laughs> Go teach them. Make sure yeah, they talk. Could be, that could be because they do have their hand out there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Big time. Kids, they got their hand See, out there. And yeah. like, but, I don't but, have to do this. Right, say. right, 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 right. Well, folks, this is what we're talking about. You know, again, like I said, I, I, I wanted to make sure we, we talked to some solutions. You know, I'm out there, and there's a lot to be done. In fact, more than I could even think about. I could be walking 24-7. But now I can also say, again, running for mayor, and we, we're, we're, we're a city where it's not districtized. We don't know who our commissioners are. You see what I mean? So you got only got one guy. you got one person that you can call. And he's got a lot of jobs. he got a lot on his way. That's the mayor. Mm. The other four is just sitting back. Sitting back with maybe a bureau or whatever. Or, yeah, a bureau. Or sitting mm. up there looking at their own piece because yeah. somebody, i.e., voted them in because they had the money, so they're addressing that person's issue. They need to be responsible in, within that area or whatever. And if they're living or not living in that area, the district it needs to be divided into four different areas. And that person should be assigned to one of those areas. Yeah. You got mm -hmm. me? So, hey, you call this person when you've got right. something on your mind. Right. Because every issue is different in each area. True. You got me? And no one man's an island. True. No. See? True. So now, rather than just have the mayor who's kind of like the administrator, mm -hmm. you got four many mayors mm -hmm. around the areas. Mm -hmm. And then people can go and talk to them and say, hey, look, this is my issue, I, I yeah. eat through the uh, neighborhood associations, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have two neighborhood associations, each one. We got seven now. Right. But make it two each. Because some of them are pretty big, but the idea, let them talk about this stuff. Right. Got me? Mm -hmm. And then and then I give it to this guy, and, but at the same time, when they're at the end of the day, they said, okay, these are the issues that we talked about, and here's a, mm -hmm. here's a, here's a solution to those issues. Send them up to the mayor's office, and then with transparency, we have a discussion among us all and make sure we educate the people across the board, and then you assign a budget to it 
A budget. Yeah, because this is how much money we have to spend. This is how much rent we picked up okay. Okay. on all the goodies, right? right? And then based on the rent, we're going to fund this. We may have 10 items, but we can only identify with eight. So we identify, mm -hmm. put the money in there, mm -hmm. the budget is there, and we got an auditor for each one of those issues oh. to make sure the money is being spent right. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's accomplishing something. Right. And if it's not, you don't get elected the next time around. Right. <laughs> See, but we get a far better chance of getting a leader. That's all I'm just trying to say. Mm -hmm. But we just have to make some sense of it. And that's kind of like well, what I, that's yeah. what I'm learning. I mean, I've been, been talking about it for a long time. Yeah. But, you know, at this point in time in my life, I'm saying, well, gee whiz, it still hasn't happened. Right. And I'm sitting here on the shows talking about this stuff day in, day out. But now I'm taking some action. I'm right. running. Right. At least it gets me at the table to talk about the issue. Right. Mm -hmm. whether not what they do about it uh, come May 17th, that's their issue. Right. But uh, right. where we go from there, I don't know. But we're going to be talking about the issues. Working, huh? working forward. We're going to be working forward, yeah. one way or the other, right? Mayor. Yeah. Right, Mayor? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mayor. No, no, mayor. we are all the mayors. I know. <laughs> oh. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Every, right. every voting person out there is a, is a mayor. It's a mayor. But we got to make some sense of it right now. we got some individuals, and, That's true. and we got to get these other four people involved in the process, mm -hmm. and we need to take care of this. And I really feel that we can take care of this homeless problem. Trust me. Well, yes. And we can what, do it. What's, well, we do what's the first? We do. What is the first step that we have to do, though? The first thing is find out. Go, go right to the. In all due respect, I think it would be a, a good way of doing. It. Mm -hmm. Find out. I, I want to find out where the where the veterans are. Remember they well, said they were going to house the veterans. Okay. Yeah. That means they had to go through a kind of a fill in the blanks. Sure. Who uh, are these folks? A, right. A, a clearing that? place. A yes. clearing yes. house. Yeah. Yeah. Right. A clearing house aspect. Right. And then and then from that point on, mm -hmm. and then identify all the agencies. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And bang, 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 right? Got me? Yep. And at the end of the day, then you got so much money in the budget and whatever. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, you say, okay, this is how many more we have left to do. Yeah. We've taken care of, of the 3,000. I think they said they always throw this 3,000 and so many of those are you know, military and whatever. But let's say they got 2,000 of them. In mm -hmm. our area? No, 2,000 in the city of Portland. The city of Portland. Yeah, yeah. they say 3,000. The numbers, get, I don't know where yeah. they get the numbers. I, yeah, so if I, they got I, the numbers, that means they got access to some bodies, right? Right. So, I, yeah. so, so where the bodies so at? Where the bodies at? <laughs> See, I can't find the <laughs> body. I can't find the body. <laughs> no one will talk to me about the body. Oh. And the commissioners, boy, they just give you a thing. I don't even get a chance. Excuse the phrase. <laughs> well, I hate to say this, but someone was using the restroom. Oh. One of the commissioners. Oh. And I almost walked in, but I found out it was female. But oh, <laughs> said, oh, oh, so I couldn't walk in and oh catch her. Oh, I didn't <laughs> catch her. And then I tried to catch her when she got out, and she was quick. I, 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 I got to go. But she did take me to the office, but she gave me a staff person, and the staff person gave me a card, and then told me, said, well, look, you, you have to text this person. I said, but never ask me, do I have a computer? Right, right. <laughs> and I still haven't gotten the call. But anyway, but my point is that they're, they're busy, too, in their own rights. Don't get me wrong, they've been there. But we gotta organize it a bit. You know, we need leadership. A little better. Because we want to solve this problem. Summer's right. right here, and we're gonna have a big problem. Everybody knows where Oregon is. Need to, yeah. Portland. We Oregon. Need to do Portland, it. Oregon is. We need to do it soon. And, I'm, and I'm, I don't know, I'm thinking about reincarnating Tom McCall's concept. Mm. Absolutely. Don't stay. Don't stay. Don't yeah. Yeah. sit in the yeah. border. Yeah. 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 Right. What, what do you got? Yeah. I'm gonna do it like Mexico. Right. You got any money? Because right. yeah. you can't come over here and retire over here if right. you ain't got no money. Because right. we don't want none. Right. We're sending them over to the U.S. Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Don't want them. See? In all due respect, but these are human beings, Steve. Right. But we yes. got to go beyond right. that point. We got a right. problem. Right. I want to make them human. Big problem. Huh? I want to make them totally human being yeah. and taking care of what. But hey, buddy, we got to make well, sure that used, they. It used to be. We, and we got right. a system here. Yeah. If you ain't got no right. job, <laughs> somebody else got to pick up the tab. Oh, right. Well. Right. Anyway, we have to. We have to identify these people, get them into the clearinghouse, right. and then provide them. A shelter of some kind, mm. and and then and then and then prepare then them have, for you too. Well, and, and, <laughs> or and, you know, prepare them for you too. Yeah, because you don't want you don't want them when they just get out of the out of the, out of the joint. You know what I mean? No, out of the no, photo no. joint. You want them? No, no. You know you no. want them after they got Clean, cleared, out, cleared out, cleaned right. up, and whatever right. they can listen. Now, naturally, from a military standpoint, we yeah. go through boot camp, so you know they exactly. have some structure. Structure, right? right. That's why I'm working on. That's why I'm working on that part first. Uh, yeah. But then on the other side of the con. I got to work a little bit more on these cats. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and trust me, I, I mean, I'm sitting down there talking to them on the street, whatever. Try to catch them before they get in. Yeah, and they know what's yeah. going on. So it, yeah. I, I mean, I've talked to guys laying down on the street, yeah. Yeah. smoking a cigarette and drinking. And I say, hey, man, what's going on? What are you doing? Comfortable. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, man, how you doing? You know? <laughs> <laughs> See, you understand what I'm saying? Right. 
but he's taking advantage of the system. Right. He wants to get taken care of. They all, everybody wants to get taken care of. Nobody wants to sit out there. Well, the, the one yeah. person we know that's working at the detox center. Yeah. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah. And they, they cost us something like eight, what, I, he told me the price. I forgot now, but it's something like two or three thousand dollars a day for each person. Same thing. You can almost oh, give them a check in the middle. Well, yeah. <laughs> get the <laughs> <of> the <laughs> yeah. I'd be better. Get, get, here's a check. Right. But, but the check I'm giving you, you just move. Mm. Here's your ticket to go back to New York. Right. Yeah. Uh, but one ticket, okay. one way. Right. One but anyway, way. it's a problem all over the place. Okay. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Are you, Big Sandy, time. Were, were you the one who was telling me about San Diego? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. No, no. No, right. well, some somebody that was down in San Diego, uh, and they were saying that. Uh, the homeless people in this, the bottom end of San, San Diego, sure. the town, right. is solid homeless. And mm. they said that it smells so bad because there is yeah. no yeah. facilities. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all the defecating on the streets. Yeah. Uh, and it's, she's, it's, they said it's the worst wow. town that they've ever been in is San Diego. Yeah. Mm. Now, what? That's hey, terrible. Hey, and we, we're going to be there, too, yeah. if we don't take the yeah, it's getting, hard get something done. But you like you said, we get the, the money's there at two thousand dollars a pop per day. Oh, right. I mean, uh, I mean, I may right. have to give a second right. thought about homes. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to, I hate to put it in that particular vernacular. Right. I mean, we may be influencing people out here saying, "Man, what am I doing hustling? I yeah. ain't working every day, eight yeah. to five, for yeah. ten dollars an hour." Don't, don't give them an address, right? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty heavy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but in all due respect, that's what that we're is, dealing with. Yeah. So the problem can be solved, folks. Right, yeah. I mean, the problem, and I'm, saying, and I'm saying to the viewing artists, so when, when these people are yeah, running yeah. for office, all of them, when they're running for office, ask them those questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are your issues? What are you running on? And what are you going to do about it? what are you going to do about it? Right. Bottom line, I okay? And I think that would make a big difference. <laughs> but a lot of times, the way they got this voting things done, and so, if they, you know, they ask you at the last minute. They never, they never educate you about that person. Yeah. And then the mayor comes on at the last minute and tell you what the issues are. <laughs> and you don't even have a TV. <laughs> so, man, look, hey, here's $5, man. Go get yourself a hamburger. Yeah. Go get yourself a shoot. But make your X right here. Put your X right, right here. Put it in the, in the deal, in the mail. Well, anyway, I've been sometimes being a little facetious, but it's a serious problem. You know what I mean? Never but I want to thank you, both of you guys for doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Now you know these two guys here. There's more, more, more of these guys, and we're going to be discussing it with, with more of these guys and, and trying to put something together. Yeah. Because I ain't going away. Yeah. And I know Me you neither. guys aren't going away. Right. And we're going to make it happen. But I, but I want to make sure whoever's taking up the leadership, who's getting the money, right. I want to make sure, hey, you're going to be spending the money. You know what right. I'm You got to get paid, but I understand where you're coming from, okay? Yeah. Well, this has been great, and thank you guys very much. It's been great. We're going to be talking about this. We're going to get out on the road again and start I, I suppose, on doors. I suppose you and I are yes. going to talk about this at the shop. I oh, mean, yeah, very much right. so. Yes, yes. We're going to go down to your shop and take some photos. No, I don't. Me. I mean, your shop. In my shop? Yeah, I don't want to. Well, well, that's another job. So, oh, that's, that's, another, a, a that's, job another that's another hat. That's another hat I've got to do. That's another hat. Even though yeah. I'm not going on the road, yeah. I got to eat and pay my bills, <laughs> pay my taxes, right. like my heart tax. Right. I'm jumping oh. on that breeze, the heart right. tax. That's gotta, another I gotta, issue. I got to my heart tax. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's another yeah. issue or whatever. Uh -huh. Because I think they could do, well, you know, that happened, but we need to find out about that piece. Oh, oh, you bet. Yeah, so we want to thank you very much for being with us, okay? You're welcome. And the audience, hey, thanks very much. These are some good, solid folks. And we're working on the job. We're all the time. We're going to get it done, folks. It done. Remember, Portland, Oregon, the city of Roses. Let's make Jordan, sure it happens. Good to meet you. Take yeah. care. Have a we good evening. I'll see you next time around. Have a good yes. one.